Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The armored fighting vehicles of Indian Army are currently protected by passive and reactive armor solutions. However, they are still not effective against the latest generation anti-tank ammunition with top attack capabilities. Therefore, it is required to develop a new innovative solution to provide survivability against ever increasing lethality of anti-tank armor threats as the weight of current generation tanks have already reached their limit. The active production system should be able to neutralize or defeat the incoming threats before they hit the tank by automatically acquiring, tracking and responding with countermeasure kinetic or explosive means to neutralize the anti-armor threats. Now, in order to achieve that, in February 2021, the Defense Acquisition Council has cleared a proposal to upgrade the protection levels of over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles, including main battle tanks and infantry combat vehicles. The Defense Ministry has cleared Indigenous Weapons Program worth Rs 13,700 crore, which also includes acquisition of modernized version of Arjun battle tanks and increasing the protection level for over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles currently in service. Indian Army is planned to equip 13 to 14 armored regiments with active protection system with hard click capability. As per the proposal, all capital acquisition contracts other than design and development must be completed in two years. This decision was to ensure that the procurement process could be fast track and address the need of our armed forces. Now, as many of you would be aware that DRDO is working on an active protection system for the main battle tank. However, progress has been very slow. The project started way back in 2015. It has also been reported that DRDO has already developed the active protection system, which use a laser warning system for Arjun Mark II which is now being called as Arjun Mark 1A as there will be no Arjun Mark 2 variant. However, the requirement of APS has changed from just being laser warning system to be able to detect the anti-armor projectiles using infrareds and radars and neutralize them. Now, DIDU is attempting to develop an APS that will have multi-spectral sensor including radars and lasers to cover a wide variety of threats and velocities or anti-tank ammunition ranging from a speed of 70 to 240 meters per second. This system is expected to have engagement range of 50 to 150 meter and quick reaction time to effectively neutralize before 50 meter. The APS system being developed by DRDO will be able to intercept targets accurately when the armored vehicle is in both static and dynamic condition and it will also be safe for nearby troops and issue audio-visual warning during activation of countermeasure. This system will also have simultaneous multi-directional multiple threat detection and neutralizing capability with very high hit probability around 95% and will provide 360 degree hemispherical protection coverage. The active protection system will be used in Arjun tank and T-90 tanks of Indian Army as well as the armored personal carriers under development. Now, talking about its development update, in April 2022, DRDO's lab LRD had released an RFI for active protection radar. This radar will be used to detect and automatically track the anti-tank rockets, anti-tank guided missiles and tank rounds. The anti-protection radar is the key element of APS which can be installed on main battle tank and armor protection carriers for early warning against the anti-tank ammunition fired. It will have 360 degree coverage to detect even the top attack anti-tank munition. The radar along with hard key measures will be used to protect tank and its crew members. Now recently LRD had issued another tender for ballistic protected enclose with radomes. And this is for its X-band radar of the active protection system, which is expected to have protection of STNAG level 3. While there is some progress happening related to DRDO's APS development, however, it is not fast enough and exact timeline 
for the complete development remains unclear. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.